The second race was a handicap at the 91 level, uh, over 1,900 metres, and it's gone the way of Adabar, and uh, Adabar has um, bounced right back to very best. He's a son of Rabada, bred by Summerhill Stud. Rabada standing at Bloomhill Stud in Wartburg, KwaZulu-Natal. And as I said in the preview, when I chatted to MJ, he said it was horrible to watch his last run. That wasn't him. They found a small issue, they fixed the issue, and this is the Rabada they know. He certainly is, in my opinion, the best progeny of Rabada by far at this point in time. Lindile Lushaba is the gentleman that grooms, loves and looks after Adabar. Well done to you, Lindile. Your big chap's back and he's earned you a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done. Let's get uh, Calvin in first, M, if you don't mind, or whoever's rushing. Let's get whoever's rushing in first. You certainly, uh, well, you, you weren't rushing to the winner's enclosure. I'm not stating that you, you went too quickly. I'm just saying that uh, he's so good, he, he rushed himself to the winner's box. 100% Warren. Look, just well done to MJ, to his whole team. He was uh, confident when I got into the ring, and um, he said from the last time he wanted him, he's improved. So, um, yeah, he was definitely right. And, Listen, he just loves to gallop and um, I just let him do his own thing. He, he, he sort of told me the speed that he wanted to go and I just loved, loved the way when I actually did ask him to pick it up. He, you know, he dropped a gear and I think he left the field standing. So good luck to MJ, to his whole team and um, yeah, just he, really spoiling me to, to ride a horse like this. You said uh, he looked a little spooked at, uh, at the birds and, and you know, he just sort of took his attention off racing for one millisecond and then was next minute two lengths clear again. Yeah, 100%. Look, he had the, he had the race um, one and he just had a little look at the birds and I gave him one show with, with, with the crop and geez, as I said, he just he extended, like you like said, another two lengths. Very good win. I thought it was very impressive and uh, I, I, look, I can't take a lot of credit. I was really just a passenger and honestly and truly well done to MJ and his whole team. Can you have another winner today, Mr. Habib? Yes, look, I thought I had a nice competitive uh, cards. I thought uh, Maggie Smith, a uh, good draw. And um, probably Raga Bagger's also got a, a lovely chance, also a good draw. I think I learned how to ride him last time and um, hopefully he can reproduce his, his previous run. Well, to you and uh, the entire team and your family, all the best for the rest of the day. And yeah, just riding so well at the moment, opportunities coming your way and you're taking every opportunity with both hands, riding at the top of your game. Doors open, doors close but to keep up the winners. Well done. Thank you so much. Yeah, look, been truly blessed and um, all the praise has to go to God. Thank you so much. Lovely. Let's get to MJ Woodendahl. And nice and uh, you, you're swanking around the winner's box with a bit of a smile on your face and a bit of swagger. And that's all right because you've made it no secret, no secret to the public that you've rated this horse. Last time, took the wind out of your sails a little. You worked on whatever you found. This is the Adabar we know. He's back. Yeah, his SA count uh, wasn't wasn't great. It wasn't bad, but it, it, it's according uh, to the master, it wasn't uh, quite what it should have been. Today it was right, but firstly, um, very very good comments from Atandiwe. He said to me, um, the, "The filly will get ten furlongs. The race just didn't quite work for him. Probably needs a bit of cover to run through." He, he said to me, going through the 300, he thought he'd definitely run second. So that, that's encouraging because she's a smart filly yes. too, and uh, thank you to Lance for that. But uh, this was, yeah, this this is Uncle Brahms' horse. Um, make no secret about it. Uh, he fell in love from the day he saw him, and uh, yeah, like I've always said to you, I thought he's a he's a very very special horse, and uh, I, I think he showed it today. You know, when when horses are special, they got to win by by a bit of a margin if if you want to step up you know and uh, yeah i think i think next season well in the natal season it, it'd probably be uh, quite a competitive horse in one or two races well, well that's what i was going to ask you before we wrapped up this interview and i know you've got more runners to come so i apologize but the public would love to know you know are you going to just sort of go slowly quietly for the rest of the year and then you know go into kzn season because surely 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 there must be a little something for him in the season but you know that you've just answered that yeah i think um right now we'll probably give him his second hss and uh um he's got the class that we don't have to rush him for anything mm. um it's it's been quite cool so we might we might go for one more and 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 then we'll see from there but uh uh to 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 lance and and sandra from blue mill stud uh as i said 
When they look like a rabada, they run like him, and trust me, they can run. Lovely. Um, all the best to you for the rest of the day. Thank you, and uh, 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 a very big thank you to Racing Manager Anthony Delpesh from, from Hollywood. Um, getting some support from Uncle Owen and, and, and the whole Hollywood team. And, uh, you know, they, they do so much for us. It's, it's to thank them and, and, and I think we can be very, very grateful that, they, that they're with us here. Well said. Thank you, sir. MJ Oordendal, ably assisted by Taryn at the races today, as uh, always Taryn by her, his side. This is Rabada out of a mare called Deceptive Charm, uh, who was by King Mambo. Well done, Summer Hill Stud, you've bred a good one. Well done, Bloom Hill Stud, Sandra and Lance Trithui with the Rabada. One more parting shot from you. Yeah, we got, you, you asked me about the, the horses we've got hmm. left. We've, we've got two more runners left, um, back ends of Cortez Max, I would say. Thank you. Lovely. There we go. Back into quartets for MJ's uh, runners to come. Thanks for him for coming back. I did forget about that, but uh, Adabar has won a good race. He's back.